So, your girl's hair again. Yes, your girl, Dimples, aka Sheiks, aka whatever you want to call me. Yeah. So, we're back. We're here. And, um, yeah, I, this is just going to be me again ranting about this whole back to school situation. And for those of you who did not know, I am a mother of three, three girls. My eldest is 13, then I have a five and a six year old. Okay, and um, basically my kids are supposed to start virtual school today. Okay, they were registered. Well, at least two out of three of my kids because there was some mishap were registered from the beginning of when they announced that there would be virtual schooling and that's what I opted for. Unfortunately, however, my kids have not started virtual school yet. Um, they've been logged into um, their devices and um, there's been a lot of discrepancies with the passwords and everything. So um, yeah, it hasn't started yet. So I'm looking forward to this week to see how things go with that. But I also wanted to touch base on this whole back to school situation, okay? Because, like, they're sending the kids back to school. And yes, there's been a lot of things implemented to make sure they're safe. Um, like, my sister was letting me know she passed by a school and she's seen some circles. And I guess that's where the kids stand up when they go outside, also they don't have to wear masks because it's outside and it's in the open okay weird to me because as you go on road nowadays us as adults have to have on the mask as we leave our apartment can't go in the elevator can't go in the lobby can't even walk on the street like without a mask so it's so weird to me anyhow but okay and then um, another one of my sister's friends was telling me that um, what they do is they implement like a stick or something between, I guess, the kindergartners, the JKs, and the SKs to allow them to know um, boundaries and space. Okay. Again, us adults obviously need the same thing because I go in the grocery store and yeah, we're wearing masks, but people are like itch up behind each other like we're on some choo-choo train dance or something, but empty house that has been um that little bit of experience that i've gotten since school has opened um i feel like nobody hasn't had a big i guess outbreak in any schools as yet um but again school just started um i feel like virtual school should have been something that was more prepared for than the actual physical going back to school only because they've had so much time to do the virtual schooling considering that that's what we did at the end of last school year so that being said i'm a little bit frustrated because some of the facts that i've heard about doing virtual schooling that go negatively towards um, our child's education is something like this schools have been in place a week two weeks now and my children who are doing virtual schooling haven't started school yet so you know what i mean i guess i feel like if i wasn't personally teaching them on my own they'd be going backwards because at this point i'm starting the monday which i was two days ago i get them up make them brush their teeth wash their face change their clothes get up do what they have to do just so that they get into the motion but again I have a five and a six year old and you know how kids can be like mommy when are we going to school when are we going to do online schooling when are we going to see our teachers you know what I mean so that has been very irritating so far but um yeah I am prepared for what's to come um when it comes to virtual schooling um, I'm, I've set up myself, I'm prepared, and I'm going to take it one step at a time. Um, although I do see what they've implemented in the schools, I am still not content or satisfied to switch my kids back to regular schooling or the norm from now on. But yeah, 
but let me just stop and take a pause and tell you guys about this because I know I've told you in my previous videos that I have sister locks and of course I am one of those people who I'm just constantly in my head doing different stuff like I don't know I have this artistic spirit that doesn't allow me to stick to one thing too long it doesn't really matter what it is so especially my hair that I have to look at every day so um, I've been doing a lot of styles with my sister locks kind of camouflaging them doing different things and this is one of them so yeah basically I was trying to make this into a wig it's just some like a uh, croquette natural looking hair that I got from BSW the hair store again this video is not sponsored by anyone what else I would have said it in the beginning but yeah I did get this from BSW when they had like this big sale they were like four dollars a pack and um, I tried to make it into a wig of course it was not making it and I just decided to turn it into a ponytail because a girl's tired of looking shabby and I'm gonna be a, doing a video for you guys so I was like why not just put myself together and look like somebody you know what I mean so yeah uh, yeah so empty house I will go on to saying that I am NOT feeling confident about this school year for my children only because the way it started only because everything that's going on I'm kind of frustrated because I just recently well I shouldn't say recently it's been way over a year going on to now but I've been a single parent um, for a little bit now but like this whole transition and everything that's been going on it's just really stressful because you don't know what's gonna happen you know what I mean like something could happen like an hour from now tomorrow like any time and trying to be prepared for something that you don't really have knowledge on is another thing that frustrates me so much because you're just in the unknown like you don't know what to do you don't know what to turn left to turn right like you know one of those so yeah but I just want to know like I want to know how people are feeling like I want to know their 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 views you know the real truth about how you feel about this like do you feel like it's foolish because I know like I personally I don't go outside all the time but I do get out there and my kids basically don't they haven't really left the house since school went on March break Till now I can count on one hand the amount of times they've been on outside so I don't know if I'm being a hypocrite because I'm out there and whatever the case may be but I just feel like I can take heed to the precautions necessary as an adult and I feel like even inside my own house like I might say to my kids and I'm their mother like go do this and I turn around five minutes later they still haven't done it sometimes 10 minutes later they haven't done it sometimes half an hour later they still haven't done it at this point so much things could have happened in that 30 minutes in that 20 minutes in that 10 minutes because they don't see the importance of stuff and my mom used to say this saying it's so hilarious I'm laughing even before I say it but a fool don't hear shit in here both you understand <laughs> And I used to always like literally like be dying in my head when my mom said that obviously not on the outside because she was obviously upset when she was saying these things but I never really understood until like I got older and I was saying the saying to my kids and I'm like if full don't hear shit full is like chicken or like I don't know like Jamaica style chicken roost or whatever full right a fool don't hear shift like shh, 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 move from yes up. They hear boof because they're gonna get lick. Most likely lick to the fact where they're knock out and dead. For those who know about the culture of killing your own chickens, yeah, they probably got stoned and then, yeah. So, so when I started to take heed of that um saying that my mom used, I was like, yeah, like we we literally as children we don't hear until 
things lick us and even as adults sometimes like somebody will tell us say oh that lifestyle enough for you and we don't listen because we see only the the positive and the the flashing lights and the money that that lifestyle brings and then when we don't listen to probably somebody who's been through it already or who's been on the outside watching we get all tied up and wrapped up and sometimes we end up losing our lives so yeah i just feel like because i know that even as a child myself growing up i was a very obedient child and yet still i did a lot of things behind my parents back that up until this day they do not know and i just feel like my kids will still try to do the same regardless of what and having them on the outside where i can't protect them is something that would really 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 affect me down the line if anything was to happen to them so yeah so basically i'm just about safety first protecting my kids like i know it sounds sad to say because i am a person who believes in educating my kids and i do make them read and i do their math cards with them and everything and we have really like deep conversations but i feel like if it's between having a dumb child and having no child at all <laughs> you know which one i'm picking and if you don't, a dumb child, I carried you in my stomach, I pushed you out, and trust me, my labors ain't no joke, okay? I gave birth to you, I've been taking care of you, blowing breath, like, into you, like, I've been basically doing everything I can as a parent towards my kids, you know what I mean? Like, I've went as far as, like, sucking out my kids' boogers, and ah, I am not down for that, but when I see you can't breathe, I'm doing it. I will do almost anything for my children. I should say anything because I don't really think there's anything I wouldn't do. So what's keeping them home and protecting them from the COVID? That's just how I see it. But anyhow, you guys, that was just a short little video for y'all. So I'm going to leave it right here. Again, if you respect my rant and you watched it, please like share and subscribe don't forget i really do want to hear what you guys have to say about this so comment below and check your girl out check out my other videos all right peace out love self-love self-motivation self-beautifying ah, peace out later